Hey everybody, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video Web. We are here with Ali Rahimi from Amon Atelier. Atelier, perfect, yes. perfect. And, you know, see, part of it is we're at Doris Bergman's Emmy Gifting Suite, and I always love this. Now, if while we're talking, if I stare at Ollie's tie and what he's wearing, <laughs> it's because this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank I you just very much. It. Thank you. It's one of the things that we make in our salon. We we do a lot of specialty fabrics. Uh, that I import and um, you know I wanted to wear some of my my fabrics uh, so the only thing that I could think of was to make uh, start making ties so we started that about uh, 15 years ago we started making beautiful handmade ties well, see, part of it was you had all these gorgeous materials that you were using you for women's gowns yes and it's like, why yes do women have all the fun I know I know that's unfair <laughs> so so I thought we should we, I should have a little bit of that fun too since you've had all these celebrities coming through here today yes can you tell me what's hot this year for the Emmys um, well, the color of the year, I mean, I, I, I don't do a, present a particular line. I, I'm inspired by fabric, I'm inspired by movement. Sometimes I travel and I come back and I, I have to do a collection based on what I, what I saw. Yeah. Uh, color of the ocean, color of the forest. But the color that seems to be uh, prevailing this year are the nudes and the blush roses, which are really beautiful. Um, I've uh, intermittently used them over the years and I have a couple of gowns in those colors as well. Can we see them? Of course, I'll show you one of them. This is a, 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 a beautiful blush color that has uh, little tiny handmade sequins that are cup-shaped sequins that are sewn over the top of it. And it's actually very, very lightweight. But it looks like an armor, and that's what I love about it. It's very lightweight. Yeah. It's all done on layers of silk chiffon, and, um, but I really uh, love the effect of it. I think the effect is really beautiful. I bet, it, I bet it looks magnificent on camera, and it doesn't have all the weight. And it, you know, these aren't sequins. They're, they're no, they're not. They're they're well, they're, they're cup shaped metallic. Uh, um, they're metallic sequins, but they're a little cup shaped. They're not your traditional sequins right. that you normally see that were done in the '70s. Right. I love the texture. It just really makes it. It's it's really interesting it and is fascinating. It's very rich, and I like the fact that it uh, has a shimmer and sparkle to it. Um, and they're they've been aged slightly, so it looks like a vintage uh, fabric. How do you age? These? Well, I had nothing to do with that process of it, but I did request it, and they, they were kind enough to do that for me. It's like you don't stick them in a barrel and put them in a no, dark space. No, no, you microwave them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know how the process of the age. I actually I do know a couple of the ways that they do it, but I, I can't say because it's a it's a it's an industry it secret. It's an industry secret. I can't tell you. Okay, so what else is hot for the Emmys um, and styles? Styles. Uh, I think really what flatters your body is hot. Um, I don't think uh, every woman should should really necessarily wear what's trendy. Um, I don't think that that doesn't represent a sense of style that doesn't represent you. So I think what works best and what's hot is really what fits your body and what fits your personality. Actually, that works out perfectly because if it looks good on you, it's right. Absolutely. It's, if it's, it's a hot. if it's a color that looks good on you, why would you wear a color a trendy color of that season mm -hmm. if it's not a flattering color or or, or a cut? Not everybody can wear the cut of the season. So if you stick to what's best for your body and you work with somebody who knows what they're talking about and they have your best interests at heart, I think that's what's hot. That's what's beautiful. Well, Ali, I want to say something because there's so many times when we're interviewing people, and I've seen this with designers around the years. It's like, it's all it's about the designer, right? And making it look good on the person. But here, you're taking it the other way. It's You want it to look good on the person first yes. because then it yes. represents your line the Absolutely. Best. I mean, um, oftentimes when clients come into my salon on La Brea, they will look around and they'll think, this, especially if they've never been in, they'll think that it's a dozen different designers that are designing this line. Mm -hmm. And it isn't, it's all mine. But I have uh, such respect and such love for women's bodies. And I have children that I dress and I have uh, women of, of a little bit of an older age that I dress. So I really look to see what it is that that client really needs. Uh, sometimes it's not even something you know that is you, what you want, but it's my job to figure out, to give you what it is that you think you might want, but you're not quite sure. <laughs> Because sometimes you don't, you think you know what you want, but what you think you want yes. is not always what's best for you. It isn't. Because I mean, sometimes you try it on, you look in the mirror and you think, oh, this didn't quite work as well as I had hoped. Uh, but my intention is really to look at your body and uh, look at your coloring and to be inspired by it and figure out what works best for you. That must be why you dress so many people on the red carpet. Well, it's it's uh, it's that's the, the the red carpet is the fun part of my job that you sort of um, you get to sort of act out a little bit because you can make them a little bit more formal, you can make the trains a little bit longer, but really what I really really love is that the everyday woman that comes in there 
that I get to dress. So she may be, her daughter might be getting married or, or um, she'll come in because she's turning 40 or she's turning 50, she wants a special gown done. Or she comes in and she brings her young daughter that I, I just had recently was fortunate enough to dress a young lady that I dressed as a, a junior flower girl. Uh, some years back and now she just got married a few weeks ago so I love that I love the fact that I'm involved in people's families and I sort of permeate their families and then I get to be in there and they think about me which is nice um, they, they keep me at the back of my at their mind and uh, they'll, they'll come back when they have something special that they need that is just amazing I love that I, I, I love that <laughs> Now, Ali, if you want to be remembered for something, okay, like the audience out there, if you want them to remember you as a designer, what do you want them to remember you? Oh my gosh. You know, nobody's ever asked me that before. Um, what do I want to be remembered for? Um, I guess what I really, um, I, I design with, I try to design with integrity and we make garments with integrity. Um, everything is, as I say, that they're, they're handmade, they're, they're beautifully done. And it's an it's an honest work. Um, so I, 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 clients that I've had for a long, long time, and gowns that they've worn over and over again, or suits, I, I love hearing back from them saying, you know, ten years ago you made this thing for me, and I put it on again, and it was beautiful. I went out, I got compliments, and that as a designer, as somebody who creates an idea out of nothing and sketches it and then brings it to fruition, as a designer, that's what you want to hear. You want to hear that somebody appreciated what you've done. So. You know, if you're going to be remembered for anything. You want to—I want to be remembered for that sense of integrity and that sense of love and design that I—that I had. Oh my God, Ali. Okay, see, part of it is if you're listening, you have probably sat there, fallen in love with him as a designer already. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. And I'm sitting here looking at it. If people, I mean, is there? You—you you brought this one out, yes. and I know they're giving me this. And well, we need to start wrapping it up. Is there any other piece that you'd love to share, people, before oh we gosh. tell them uh, how to find you yes. on the internet? Well, um, I have to show you this. See, this is really tough to have them just show you like two pieces out of a The only reason this is my all-time favorite right now is because it literally was finished this morning. Um, so, <laughs> you know, the newest thing is always your favorite. But this is based on the negligee and the nightgowns of the 1950s that was so beautiful. And I wanted to translate it into a little bit more of an evening gown with a patent leather belt on it. I love the whole idea of this very very sexy body with a nude lining underneath it and the black over the top of it and then you turn around and you have this beautiful open back with the little crystal buttons down down the back of it so uh, this is one of my favorite things right now you know I'm looking the, at this and it's so beautifully elegant and finished that it almost looks like it's it's um, double-sided like you could reverse you know it what? the school that I went to the headmaster of the school she said one of the very first things that I remember very clearly she said a couture garment ought to look just as good on the inside as it does on the outside. She, she said you ought to be able to turn a garment inside out and pretend that it's in, that, that that's the right side of it out. So we line everything in beautiful silks. This is what touches your body. So it, it should feel sumptuous and lovely. Okay. And this is how all of our this is how all of our garments are made up. We've lost her. I think we've lost her. She's, you know, what can I say? Ali, if people want to find you in the internet, I'm like, about We've the lost her. I think we, we were, done. Right. we're done. We're done. Where do we're they done. go to find you? <laughs> we are on 119 North La Brea Avenue in Los Angeles, and we have a website, www.monatelier.com. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook on the Mon Atelier. Thank you, Ali. Thank you very much. Thank you so very Thank much. You. I appreciate and, it. Yeah. Thank you. Magnificent. Oh, I was just like.